All right. So we are doing in behavior today. In behavior. So just a reminder as to what in behavior is. When you look at a function, you can track its in behavior, right? No matter what function that you're given, you can follow the function as it goes to the left. That would be called x approaches negative infinity. X approaches negative infinity. That means the function is going to the left. And you can also track the function as you go to the right. That is called x approaching positive infinity. That means it's going to the right. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to look at both of these functions because they are very similar. The first function is y equals two to the x power. This is an exponential function. And we know that it has a horizontal asymptote. It has a horizontal asymptote. This asymptote happens to be y equals zero. So we know that it has a horizontal asymptote at y equals zero. So what we wanna do with this function is we wanna track the function as x approaches to the left, as x approaches to the left, and as x approaches the right, positive infinity. So as x approaches negative infinity, y is going to approach something and as x approaches positive infinity, y is going to approach something. And what we're going to do is we're going to just track the function as it goes to the left and as it goes to the right. So let's start off with the left side. As we move to the left, the function goes down, down, down until it reaches the horizontal asymptote, y equals zero. So we say as x approaches negative infinity, y approaches zero because it's going to hit that horizontal asymptote. Now, the nature of asymptotes is you never really cross them, right? You can just get infinitely closer to them. So that's how that horizontal asymptote is going to affect this function. Now, that's as the function goes to the left. Let's talk about what happens when the function goes to the right. So as the function goes to the right, what's happening to the function? It's growing, right? It's going up. So we say that as X approaches positive infinity, Y is approaching positive infinity because the function is also going up. And eventually it's gonna go all the way up to positive infinity on the Y axis. So that is the in behavior of this function. So in behavior is just a reflection of how the function behaves on either the left side or the right side. Now looking at this next function, this is a logarithmic function. It has a log base of two. Now, all logarithms are gonna have vertical asymptotes, vertical asymptotes. And this one happens to have one at x equals zero, also known as the y-axis. So we're gonna write vertical asymptote at x equals zero. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna track the function as it goes to the right, and we're gonna track the function as it goes to the left. Let's do the right side first because that's the easiest. So we're gonna write as X approaches positive infinity, Y approaches what? Well, if we track the function as it moves to the right, what is the function doing? It's going up and it's gonna go all the way up to positive infinity, right? So we say Y approaches positive infinity, but we can also track the function as it moves to the left. So let's write that as X approaches well, we can't really say negative infinity, right? Because you can't really go all the way to negative infinity. This vertical asymptote is gonna stop the function. So we say as X approaches zero, as X approaches zero, that vertical asymptote, what do the Y values do at that point? As they get closer and closer to the vertical asymptote, the function goes down and it's gonna go all the way down to negative infinity. So we say as X approaches zero, Y approaches negative infinity. And that's the end behavior of a logarithmic function. So I hope that helps.